Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Uh, my friends, uh, Karen Weiscarver and, and Sanford Golden, back in 2014, they followed me around on my rotation and they wrote a screenplay, a movie screenplay, and um, I kind of forgot all about it. And then they contacted me and told me that Lifetime uh, was gonna pick that up. And then in March, they called me and told me that Reba McIntyre was gonna play me. That so, is so wild. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I communicated back and forth with Reba McIntyre. She called me and I've texted back and forth with Reba and uh, they filmed the movie at the first week of May. Yeah. I'm not sure where they filmed it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the screen or the the uh, screenplay or anything. So um, just read what everybody else has read about it. Um, I knew it had to deal with, uh, um, you know, the the rotation and and the murder of a judge and sort of that type of thing. So I, I think it sounds like a really interesting movie. You know, there's a cowboy involved. The cast is ph phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, it's Reba McIntyre, and of course, it's her her show Reba. Uh, her longtime friend Melissa Peterman plays, I believe, plays her sister, uh, who is the brothel owner, yeah. and then her boyfriend, her real life boyfriend, uh, Rex Lynn, who was on CSI Miami, plays a cowboy in it. And then there's a bailiff that's played in it. Uh -huh. um, that's her confidant. So uh, I don't know. Reba would ask me questions back and forth. How do you dress? Um, you know, do you, you know that type of thing? What kind of gun do you carry? So I, I'm just anxious to see it. And she would ask me, "Do you say this? Do you talk like that? You know, how do you handle yourself? You know, how do you? What do you say when you get on the bench? That type of thing. So it should be interesting. It's fun. It's it's a you know good promotion for the the uh, state courts here in Nevada. Well, that, you know, that sort of started from um, a friend of mine, John Gliona, who wrote a book called Outback Nevada, and it's a series of vignettes, of stories about people in the rural areas of Nevada, and he followed me, and he called me the hammer um, after watching me in court, and that's kind of how it stuck. My friends Karen Weiscarver and Sanford Golden, when they followed me around, that's what they called me, yeah. and um, I guess maybe firm but fair. And, you you know, you know, and one of the things that I always do is I attend events and I take what? Mm -hmm. Chocolate gavels, the hammer. So I will be at the 4th of July parade. Let's we'll um, see how that goes. Yes, I'm, I'm supposed to be the Grand Marshal, so yeah. I'm not sure yet when it's going to air, and I don't know that yet. Well, as soon as we know, um, Karen Weiscarver and, and Sanford Golden, they used to write for the TV series Bones, and uh, you know are, are well-known writers in the uh, in Hollywood area, so I don't know. I told them I have some great new storylines that yeah. we could add to it.